Some of the most unusual Icelandic landscapes are in the northern part of the country. A great starting point is to go to Akureyri, so we hopped on the bus and admired the scenery all the way there. Akureyri is a small peaceful city and the best place to find accommodation near all the main attractions. The church, art museum and the harbour are definitely worth a visit. On the first day we went to Yusavik to go on a whale watching tour at Shaky Bay. There are several species of whales, still the most common to appear are the mink, humpbacks and blue. Right. Next one. There was again between one. This one is the minky whale. And then 12. You could actually see the head. There he is. That's a big one. Oh, and the small one. Right, right here. Ah, la, 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 even though we didn't have whales coming near our boats or jumping next to us, the mere glimpse of them while cruising in those calm dark blue waters surrounded by snowy mountains made me very happy. Near the harbour we have the Yusavik Whale Museum, for those who want to know more about whales and their habitats. Godafoss, the waterfall of the gods, was the next destination. The water sounds and strength alone are really impressive, but the cliffs, clear streams, green moss and even the lavender flowers spread across the fields truly help this to be an outstanding place. Lake Mifton is a shallow lake created by a lava eruption. Its surroundings are filled with lava pillars and famous rootless cones, which resemble a real volcanic crater. This is a truly unique landscape, it was like nothing I have ever seen in my life. Next we have Dimu Borgir. We have been spellbound by the devil. Not the Norwegian band, but rather the volcanic caves and rock formations that resemble an old collapsed citadel. Known in Christian mythology as the Catacombs of Hell, this is also the home of the Eulats, 13 brothers that love to have fun and trick people. They are the Icelandic version of Santa Claus, and they will leave gifts or rotting potatoes to children according to their behavior. We made a quick stop at the Miftan Nature Baths, a smaller version of the Blue Lagoon. The sulfur found in its waters is helpful for those who have asthma and skin problems. Our trip comes to an end at Namaskard, one of Iceland's most unusual landscapes. The smell of sulfur, extremely similar to rotten eggs, hits you as soon as you step out of the bus, one that explains the non-existent fauna and flora. The scenery makes up for it though, red soil with black rivers passing through, Endless fumaroles and bubbling hot mud springs create a lively, strange, yet fascinating landscape that is constantly changing. We took a small plane back to Reykjavik and then another one back home. Bye bye Iceland, it was nice to meet you, can't wait to get back and explore the south. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe, give it a like and comment down below.